Hello and welcome to this week's Dvar Torah. In this week's Sefer Pasha Shemois, we read about the enslavement of the Jewish people. And the enslavement of the Jewish people starts with the following sentence. Vayakam melech chadash amitzrayim, a new king became upon the land of Egypt, asher la yada es Yosef, that didn't know Yosef. And the question becomes, how is it possible that you could have somebody that says, I've never heard of this Yosef fellow. I don't know who he is. What do you mean you don't know who he is? Yosef was the man who created Egypt and made a world power out of it. If you don't know who Yosef is, it's like saying to somebody who's in British politics that they've never heard of Winston Churchill. It's impossible. A new king came upon the Egyptians that didn't know about Yosef. And I think the answer is not so much that he didn't know about Yosef, but I think the answer is more to be looked at as he didn't want to know about Yosef. He chose to ignore the fact of what everything that Yosef had done for the country. Not because he didn't know it, not because he didn't appreciate it, but because it was convenient to try and forget it. It was convenient to try and not deal with that fact. And so that was how he was able to do that. And I think this idea of conveniently forgetting things and the idea of conveniently deciding not to do certain things, even though we know they are right, is something we need to really work on in our lives. Think about the times we say to ourselves, I should really spend more time with my family. Well, why don't you? Um, I'm not sure. Right, so why don't you do something about it? Why don't you change that and start spending more time with your family? Because don't just conveniently forget that you really need to do that. People say, I need to be healthier. I need to stop smoking. I need to drink less. I need to eat less. Whatever the vices are, whatever the issues are, people say, I need to do this less, right? So you know it. So what happened? Well, then you conveniently forget what you need to do. That's just following in the same steps, just not with the same disastrous result. We need to learn that it's easy to conveniently forget those things that are really important. But the truly great people are people that choose not to ignore the truths that are staring them in the face, that don't conveniently forget those things that are sometimes uncomfortable or make people have to do something that they might not want to do. The next time you have something you need to do, and it's important, but it'd be also convenient to forget about it. Try to focus. Try to remember you still need to do it. And then go ahead and do it. Have a very good Shabbos.